So if you want to add a progress bar to your YouTube videos like this, then I'm going to show you step by step one of the simplest ways to get it done. Let's get into the content. All right, so in order to add a progress bar to your YouTube videos, the tool we're gonna be using to do this is called Descript. So Descript is an AI video editor that can take care of anything that you need to get done when it comes to video editing. And I use this tool a lot. As you can see, I have tons and tons of video editing projects that I've taken care of inside of this program. But enough of that, let's get into why you're here, which is to add the progress bar. So first thing we need to do is we need to go over here to where it says new project and you wanna to go ahead and click on that now once this screen right here pops up you then want to bring your mouse over here to where it says choose a file to transcribe go ahead and click on that okay now once this pops up and you go ahead and you grab the video clip that you want let me go ahead and do that real quick I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna click in here and then I'm gonna click right here okay so now what it's gonna do is it's gonna load that uh, video clip and then it's gonna transcribe everything that I'm saying in the video and then create a transcript and then I'll be able to edit from that transcript so I'm gonna go ahead and click right here to where say transcribe and then another prompt gonna come up here in a minute okay I'm gonna hit done and then at that point you can see it says preparing 10% and then what it's gonna do like I was saying it's gonna show everything that I'm saying in this video and then we're gonna be able to go ahead and edit and I'm gonna just give it a few more seconds all right so as you can see right here it's finally done so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go with uh, the one that I'm gonna use so I'm gonna erase this first part because this is actually a part that I wanted to edit out so I'll take that one away and then it'll just leave this all right so now now, at this point, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add the progress bar in. And how we do that is we click to the beginning to make sure that everything is good. And then what we do is we come up here to where it says shape and then we click on that. Now, at this point, you see all these different things, but then you can see right here, it says progress bar. So I'm going to go ahead and click on progress bar. And as you can see, it created the progress bar down here. Now I'm going to show you like how you can go ahead and edit it to make it, you know, maybe match your brand colors or, you know, just make it look however you want it to look. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and drag this all the way down. I feel like that's like the best place to kind of put it unless you want to put it up at the top. It's really up to you. Okay, so what you want to do to edit it is you want to click on it. And then once you click on it, you can see we got these settings. So this right here is going to allow you to change the color. Uh, and then this one right here where it says background is going to allow you to change the other color. All right. So I'll leave this one on white for now. And then I'm going to change this background color. I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm going to click on blue. Okay, so as you can see, it's showing blue, right? Now, if I come up here and I start to play it, you're gonna see the white is gonna inline inside of the blue. Let me show you how it works. So if you wanna add a progress bar to your YouTube videos like this. All right, so you can see the progress bar is moving, right? So as you can see, it's, it's obviously a very, very simple process uh, for you to get done, but there are some other things that you could do to it, right? So if I come right here and I click this, um, you can see I could change this into a ring, right? So if I want to I, kind of show you what this looks like, let me kind of move this up a little bit. So if you're doing like maybe like a workout video or something like that, and you kind of want something to be going around so people can see the progress of how much they have longer for, you know, whatever exercise they're doing. That's just an example, but, you know, it kind of gets your mind kind of going a little bit. And then right here, if I click on this and I go to a pie, then you can see, okay, I can kind of do the same thing. It just depends on what you want to do in your particular video. And then obviously, you got this where you can kind of adjust you know where it is in the video if that's something that you want to do um, I usually just would leave it at like zero and then just kind of leave it at default settings but like I said it just really depends on what you want to do so I'm gonna go ahead and set this back to a bar and then I'm gonna go ahead and just move this back down and you can also adjust this as well so if you don't want it going across the whole screen then you don't really have to worry about it doing that now let's say for instance you satisfied with what you want to do with this particular video clip and if if you want to export it what you could do is you can come up here to file you could then come to composition you can hit export and once you hit export you want to make sure that you click on the video and then right here you can adjust the resolution uh, you can also adjust the quality I like to leave mine on max and then high and then I come down here and I hit the export button now once you hit the export button they're gonna allow you to save and then at that point all you got to do is just hit ok or hit enter and it's gonna save it to your uh, computer and then you'll be able to upload it to YouTube or whatever platform you're uploading to.